In her youth, Liza was strong, swift, with an energy so boundless that befits the huntress that she was. She loved to give chase. Sharing the trails with her was an adventure. Her time with us in our human years seemed short. Perhaps she knew what was important in life. They seem to find joy in the simplest acts, such as chasing a ball, the thrill of the hunt, and executing Schutzen commands. Dogs live in the moment. Their joy in life is uncomplicated. Unlike us, they are unencumbered by a multitude of things we admire ourselves in. They are worry-free of successes and failures. They are unshackled from wealth or lack thereof. There are no pretensions of having your shit together for an online audience. There is no guilt of satisfying the expectations of so many others. Expectations are the root of our heartaches. We are reminded that happiness can be found in our relationships. Our family who picks us up when we are down. A lover who loves selflessly without complete understanding. Friends who show up and show compassion through the years. It is our relationship to this earth. It is our communion with nature. We could no longer share the trails as her body betrayed her. Twelve dog years is seventy in human years. She had a good life. Because Liza was family, we dare anthropomorphize and heed her lessons. With cancer, I know I am in my twilight years. This light too will soon extinguish. Unrelenting. Every day, I win battles by getting up and moving just as she did with her frail, aching body. I'm a shadow of the athlete I once was. The competition now is to endure and weather the advancement of a terminal illness. Steal the body and the mind for the suffering that is to come. I wish to have the equanimity of a departed pet. To the very end, she protected us. No complaints, nary a cry, nor a whimper. We eased her pain. Liza's time with her family reminded us of life lessons. These lessons only ring true while going through a tumult in your life. They are usually taken for granted. Knowing your end is near, you take stock of your life and design the remaining years. Be guided with principles of gratitude, meaning, acceptance, compassion, and forgiveness. Loyalty. Dogs are devoted to their humans to the very end. Play. Move in nature. Feel the joy in movement. Your body is a temple, so be the master of it. You don't have to run. Simply walk, hike, or feel the rush on two wheels. Swim, float, 
glide, be the water. Own your hardship. Avoid comparing yourself to others. Your heart is your heart and it doesn't make it more or less than the other person. Kindness can be effortless. It can be simple, gracious, and anonymous. Togetherness. The journey is so much richer when shared with others. Together, you can withstand the losses and celebrate all the joys as you navigate the unknown. You are not owed by the universe, not by anyone, to find the meaning that you seek. Figure it out yourself and do the hard work. Listen. Listen more to others, for they have a story to tell. Quiet the incessant voice in your head when you listen. When it's your turn to speak, let your heart do the talking. Do take time for yourself. Fill your cup. The giving will flow from you. When your cup is empty, be willing to receive. Fill the days in the company of people you love. Laugh and cry with them. Love selflessly. The universe is your life. You are time. So spend yourself wisely. Live in this very moment, for we do not know when our light will cease. Shine while your light is still bright.